Who is Etty Hillisom and why should you read her? Who is Etty Hillisom and why should you read her? Etty Hillisom was a remarkable woman who lived in Amsterdam at the time of the German occupation of the Netherlands during the Second World War. During the war, she kept a diary. She wanted to show us how to remain true to our loving selves under the pressure of war, humiliation and persecution. She spent time in the transit camp, Westerbork, from where Jews like her were sent on to the gas chambers of Auschwitz. There she wrote letters in which we can read about the horror of the Westerbork camp. She wrote, I want to be there, right in the thick of what people call horror, and still be able to say, Life is beautiful. If you read her diary, you will be drawn into her world. Her diary has the power to transform its readers. She records both her daily life and her inner life. She reflects on her relationships, on God, on womanhood, and the growing persecution of the Jews. If you read her, you will discover that Etty was a free-thinking, independent woman. You will discover her vivid and detailed descriptions of life in Camp Westerborg. But, above all, you will find testimony to the triumph of life over death, joy over resentment, peace over war, dignity over humiliation, hope over despair, and love over hatred. When Etty Hillison began her diary in 1941, she was 27 years old. She had already spent over six years at Amsterdam University and qualified in law. She then took up the study of Slavic languages and was a fluent speaker of Dutch, German and Russian. She read books by Rainer Maria Rilke, Dostoevsky, Carl Jung and Saint Augustine. After the German conquest of the Netherlands in 1940, anti-Jewish laws forced Etty to give up her university studies. She refused to go into hiding to escape persecution. She wanted to share the fate of her fellow sufferers and, at her own request, she went to Vesterborg. Dutch Jews were rounded up and sent to Westerborg concentration camp. From there, every Tuesday, more than a thousand Jews were put on a train made up of cattle wagons and transported to Auschwitz in Poland, where they were murdered in the gas chambers. Etty had profound thoughts on life, the war, and persecution of the Jews. She believed that the brutality of genocide could not defeat the human values of love, peace, joy, happiness, respect and dignity, nor her own sense of the meaningfulness and beauty of life. She wrote, I really see no other solution than to turn inwards and to root out all the rottenness there. I no longer believe that we can change anything in the world until we first change ourselves. 
At Vesterborg, Etty supported the sick in the so-called hospital barracks, where she offered a listening ear to patients and helped them with practical matters such as shoe repairs or taking their letters to the camp postbox. While in the camp, she also worked with the Jewish resistance, smuggling children out of Vesterborg into safe hiding. On life in the camp, she wrote, The misery here is quite terrible, and yet the feeling that life is glorious and magnificent and that one day we shall be building a whole new world. Against every new outrage and every fresh horror, we shall put up one more piece of love and goodness, drawing strength from within ourselves. We may suffer, but we must not succumb. And if we should survive, unhurt in body and soul, but above all in soul, without bitterness and without hatred, then we shall have a right to say, after the war. In June 1943, Etty was joined at Vesterborg by her parents and brother Misha. Not long afterwards, she and her family were put in a cattle wagon bound for Auschwitz. We left the camp singing, she wrote on a postcard while sitting in the cattle wagon. At Auschwitz, she was murdered on 30th of November, 1943. The house where Etty was born, in Mittelberg in the Netherlands, is now an institute for education, research, art and culture. On the Etty Hillesum House website, you can find out more about her life and her writing, including, for example, I would so much like to live on, if only to express all the love I carry within me, carry into the new age all the humanity that survives in me, despite everything I go through every day. And there is only one way of preparing for the new age, by living it even now in our hearts. Please read her. Read her to learn more about how she developed the inner resilience to refuse hatred, to promote love and find inner peace in the face of the most awful persecution. Read Etty Hillesum, her letters and diaries for yourself.